Hello and welcome to the second edition of my video log. My name is Graham Campbell and I have been a councillor in South Lanarkshire representing the people of Avondale and Stonehouse since 2007. Last week I presented my um, priorities if re-elected uh, in May this year and this week I would like to drill into one of those priorities and that is something that I've been fairly passionate about now for many years and that is the complete lack of affordable and social housing in Straven. I'm not ignoring Stonehouse in this particular vlog, but the challenges around affordable and social housing in Stonehouse are completely different to that of Straven. In Stonehouse, South Lanarkshire Council has uh, more than 300 council houses and a relatively high turnover of stock. Um, the challenge is the opposite in Straven, where the council has less than 100 council houses and a turnover of only four or five at the very most each year. The result in Straven is therefore very simple. Um, if you're looking for a council house right now, um, you will be on the council waiting list for somewhere between 15 and 20 years. Being a councillor for 10 years now, I have um, seen and dealt with some really traumatic cases, um, all caused by the lack of um, quality social housing in the Straven area. Most of the cases that I've managed have been young working families who are being dragged uh, further into poverty uh, because they are having to spend um, far too much money on rent in the private sector each month. The solution, as always, is um, social uh, or council housing, but having no property in Straven means we have no solution to a, a continuing issue that just perpetuates itself year in, year out, um, when we don't have the council stock. Now, I'm not denying that there isn't a housing crisis in East Kilbride or Hamilton or any other part of South Lanarkshire because in fact it is a crisis. Um, when I last looked a couple of years ago the waiting list for a council house in East Kilbride was something like 4,800 uh, people on the waiting list and somewhere around 4,400, 4,500 uh, people on the waiting list for Hamilton. I don't represent um, anyone in East Kilbride or uh, Hamilton, I represent the people of Evendale. And quite frankly, I'm getting really fed up um, of money leaving Straven in particular and heading to East Kilbride to solve their housing problem. At the budget uh, last week, um, the council approved a thousand new houses over the next, uh, over a number of years. I, I can't remember exactly how many, I think it's somewhere between five and 10 years. But with a problem of 10,000 houses needed, this is a problem that is not going away. But what frustrates me the most um, is that we have a lot of development going on in Straven right now. Um, there is up to a thousand houses being uh, planned over the next 10 years. And as part of those development uh, programs, there is a large amount of money uh, being raised as part of the development programs for social housing. That's great, you may ask, but it's not great because all of that money is uh, simply leaving Straven and right now going to areas like East Kilbride. Even if we had 20 or 30 uh, council houses or social rented accommodation uh, from a housing association, we would practically solve the problem here in Straven. Um, but as it is right now, your council is taking your money from Straven and taking it to other areas and that's something I really want to stop and I am making this a priority, my number one priority um, as part of my election campaign in 2017. So over the next four slides I'd like to show you the challenge in Straven as I see it. So let's first of all look at the Robertson and Stuart Mill and Homes development and that's part of the Straven West programme and with the Straven West development comes more than £1.2 million in developer contributions, money that in my opinion should stay right here in Straven for the people of Straven. 
Out of that £1.2 million, £768,800 pounds will go to the Education Department, and that is to ensure that South Lanarkshire Council have the facilities and resources available here in the town for the families when they arrive in Straven West. £296,000 uh, will go to affordable housing, and this is where I have a real problem, because I believe that 296000 should stay right here in Straven to solve our social housing problem right here in our own town. But sadly, your council is taking that money and sending it to places like East Kilbride and Hamilton. And £155,000 will go to improving community facilities right here in Straven for everyone in Straven. As it sits right now, the Calla Homes development scheduled for Straven West is no different. £260,330 going to education, £123,125 going to affordable housing and £53,000 going to community facilities. Again, absolutely none of that £123,000 for affordable housing will go to pay for one affordable house here in Straven. All of that money will be taken from Straven and be transferred to East Kilbride and Hamilton, where your council thinks it's more important. The East Overton development is where it is very interesting because the developer contributions are split into two phases. In phase one, there are 180 homes, and at the point the 25th house is completed, £300,000 in planning gain money or developer contribution funds will pass from the developer to South Lanarkshire Council. At the point the 100th house is completed, an additional £450,000 will be passed from the developer to South Lanarkshire Council as part of planning gain or developer contribution money. For me, phase two is where it gets very interesting and through the additional 300 homes that are due to be built as part of the East Overton development. As part of the phase two section 75 agreement with South Lanarkshire Council, the developer is supposed to give over 33% or approximately 100 homes to social or affordable housing. This can manifest itself in a number of ways. Those 100 houses can be all social housing, they can be affordable housing, they can be co-ownership housing, they can be a combination of all three, or the money can be transferred out of Straven to again further developments in other areas such as East Kilbride or Hamilton, which is what's been happening up to now. My real fear as part of this programme that if we do not change the administration in the council, nothing will change. And therefore all of these affordable or social or co-ownership houses will be taken from Straven and given away to other areas of South Lanarkshire Council. But as I've said many times, we need social and affordable housing right here in Straven for the people of Straven. I'd like to finish off my four slides by showing you that exactly the same thing that's been going on in Straven has been going on in Stonehouse as well. The section 75 on the Sidehead Road development in Stonehouse was negotiated back in 2009 and only £12,500 uh, in developer contributions is to be made to South Lanarkshire Council as part of that programme. And as part of the Barrett development on the A71 Straven Road, £120,000 will go in developer contributions to education, £40,000 to affordable housing and £20,000 to off-site play equipment. Well, the 20,000 in play equipment will remain in Stonehouse. I'm afraid to say that the 40,000 in off-site affordable housing means it will be off-site and out of Stonehouse. Yes, that money will also leave the town and go to places like East Kilbride and Hamilton where your council believes it is more important. The only way to change that, quite frankly, is to change the administration of your council. For several years now I've been trying to change that by designating Straven as an area of need for social housing. Now I'm slowly but surely getting there um, but sadly the administration of your council in Hamilton is still taking developer contribution money from right here in Straven and transferring it out of the town to areas like East Kilbride. Again I know that East Kilbride needs social housing probably more than Straven but again I don't represent the people of East Kilbride, I represent the people of Avondale. My greatest fear folks is that if we do not change the administration in South Lanarkshire Council this May, nothing will change. The waiting list for a council house in Straven 
will remain 15 to 20 years and may get even worse. But what annoys me even more is we have an opportunity. We have the potential of 100 houses being allocated in East Overton to either social rented or affordable housing or even co-ownership. I've been the only councillor in Avondale shouting about this for a long time now. Nobody seems to be listening. And therefore, if you don't change the administration in South Lanarkshire this year, I do believe that nothing will change. Social and affordable housing will remain my number one priority in Straven beyond 2017 if re-elected. So please, please folks, let's have a serious think about the situation of housing here in Straven. We need to do something about it. We need to help our young and hardworking, low-income families get on the housing ladder. And that could mean getting into safe, affordable housing, either by rented accommodation or by co-ownership, low interest loans to those families. We need to do something about it. I'm passionate about this. And I would ask please for your support um, to try and solve this injustice in Straven.